everybody, Matt here with Backwards Mindset. So, got a couple things that I want to go over with you guys today. I'm not going to be, um, and nothing too serious, um, going to be going on some some stuff about the house. want to show you guys something that I got in the mail that a company sent me, and this is really, really cool, and I think it's going to help me out big time this winter. But we're going to get into this. The first thing I'm going to show you is I talked about it on the live with Mrs. Backwoods. We were talking about the idea that I had um, for the design of a yurt. Um, like I said, um, my mom decided that she's going to be moving to, and I don't know if this is something 100% that, we, that we're that we going to do, but this is an idea I had, and I have to look into it more. I have to see if I can find somebody that can do more custom stuff, because this is going to be pretty custom. But um, I got a, I drew it out, my idea that I had in my head, and it took a little bit uh, for me to come up with it, but I just, I was trying to figure out how I would make it, and I'm still trying to figure out part of this, because it's the shapes that I'm having a hard time putting together, um, but I think I can do it. I have another idea too, but this is my main idea that I came up with, and I'll show you here. Now, this is not two sides. Okay, this was something that I scribbled, I took a pen out, I made some circles, drew it. You can see there's lines going all over the place, kind of marked everything off. So here is, actually, I'm going to pick up the camera and I'm going to flip it around so that you can, you can actually see it and I can point at things. So we'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. So this would be like the main part right here. That would be the front door down here. And then this would be like a couch or a sectional TV. These are windows. So anywhere you see those, there's the windows going around. Okay. And this would be the kitchen over here. It got like the counter kind of rounded here with the sink, with the window. Everybody likes the sink with the window. Um, and then this would be like an island with the stovetop on it and would do the oven like underneath it. Um, I put circles around it just as like tables and then there would be a fridge over here um, so that would be like the kitchen area and this would double it would be bigger so it would double as the cooktop and seating for everybody um, at the table and it, there's enough room that I could even throw you know like a nook or some, something over here I don't know um, that's just an idea and then over here would be the bathroom you got the toilet sink um, and the tub and then up here you got the master bedroom over here you got second bedroom, third bedroom, fourth bedroom. Um, and this would be, this is what I'm trying to figure out. So I have these, which would come off the back. And I made this as a hallway. And I know because they're these are domed. So it would run down like this. So I'm trying to figure out how this would be as a covered hallway going through that. Would, because here's the doors to go into the rooms. So these would be their own. They would be way smaller than this. You know, you're talking about, um, you know, maybe 13 foot rounds, something like that. That's a guess. I don't know. 12, 13. Um, it's just a bedroom. So I don't know, but you got the windows here, lots of windows. And then this would be like a sliding glass door in the back. But this would be the, the hallway. And then it would be cut off somehow. But I don't know how to get it to work properly. Because water, if it rains, water is going to run like this and then hit this section. And I don't know where it would run if it run onto the back and have a gutter system going across like that to maybe some rain catchment, like some barrels. I, I don't know. It's, it's an idea, though. It's a work in progress. But this is doing this. And this is what I want to talk to somebody to see if there's anybody that's done anything like that. So that's kind of my idea for this. And this is the big thing. I need to talk to somebody that builds these and see, you know, like how doable is my idea? Has anybody ever done it before? Um, and is that something that I can make work? Or is there another design that's similar that can work? So I don't know. It's it's a learning progress learning prog learning in progress. I, I'm not really sure. I don't know much about it. I've seen some of the yurts. People always tell me to go watch these other channels. I, I've seen them. I know what the yurts look like. They're all pretty much the same. I've seen how people do different stuff. 
Um, th that's good information. I see how people live in them. I, I, like, I get that. My thing is, is can I do what I want to do with it? And I don't want it to be like other people's. Um, while there's other people doing it, I'm my own person and I don't want to do exactly what somebody else is doing. Not my thing. Um, I think this would be cool to do and still be able to decorate and kind of make the inside, but insulation is a big thing for us. Um, figuring out the heating and cooling, probably, I'm sure we're going to go with mini splits in it. Um, but I, I also want it to be uh, affordable and economical. Now, if I find something else in the process, like I said, this isn't 100% that this is what we're going to go with, but it's an idea that I had. Um, and I kind of want to see if this is something that I could put into play, that there might be some way to design it. I do know somebody that's an architect, um, and I kind of wanted to show it to him too, to see if he had any ideas on how to make something like that work. But I still need to find land, and that's still something that we're working on. This is just part of it. Now, the other thing relating to um, finding property is I am talking to a company, um, and I'm not going to talk about the company yet because I want to go through and do everything, um, but it would be to get this house sold, um, and we would still live in it while we're looking. So that's something that we're going to be uh, working towards. Um, I filled out the information, and she actually called me tonight. Um, the woman that was whoever the representative is, it was a woman that called me, but I missed the phone call. Um, I was actually in the middle of doing laundry and now they're closed. So when I got done doing the laundry, I didn't have time to call back. So I'm probably going to call tomorrow on my lunch and get some information. Uh, we're going to do an appraisal, um, see what they say. I know what the other houses around me that aren't as nice as mine have been selling for. Um, so I do have an expectation for it. Um, am I going to it, it all depends. If I'm not comfortable with it, I'm not going to do it. Um, if I have to go a different way, I'm going to. But I might turn this into a process. I want to talk to the company first before I start bringing them up, um, and maybe do maybe do a video about the process um, if it is something that works out. So I, I'm trying to make this into like you guys going along and seeing what I'm going through, so that if somebody else wants to do this or has an idea to do it they kind of know what they're in for. And they're different options because what I'm trying to do with this, I haven't seen anybody do yet. So this is something that's a little bit different. Um, it seems like it's a newer thing. I was kind of reading about it a little bit, but somebody brought it up to me. Uh, one of my friends um, knew some people that did it and were happy. So we're gonna give that a shot, gonna talk to them, never hurts to talk, gotta figure out all the, find out all the information I can. This is a learning process for me. We're doing something different. And I got to take it one step at a time. But this is going to be an ongoing thing. Um, I just kind of want to show you because I did bring this up in the live. That's my idea. But that hallway is what's scaring me and where I don't know if it would be doable. Because um, there's a lot of empty, vacant space. Um, I do have other ideas if the mini yurts don't work on the back too. Um, I do have some ideas, so there might be some other drawings that you may see, maybe hopefully better, better. Maybe I can talk to my um, my buddy that does architecture and see if he has any ideas of how I could make this work. I think that might be the next step. So, But um, talked about the house. I want to get in and show you guys what I got in the mail. It's really neat. Um, it's in the bedroom, so I'm going to head in there. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what I got. I'm really excited about this. The thing looks super cool, super nice. You're about to see it. All right. Okay. So this is what I got in the mail. Um, I got this coat from, I think it's pronounced Venustus. It sounds fancy. Um, and it's got the logo right there. This is a heated coat. You can see in the pocket there, it shows this is where the battery goes. There's a cord in here that it hooks up to. I think it's waterproof. I'll show you here. Heated apparel. Here's the user's manual. Um, need help? You can call them. It's got the, the charger for it. Um, a waterproof bag. Um, here's the operation instruction in here. It shows the there's preheat, high, medium, and low. So it's just like an oven. Um, 
I hope I don't end up cooking myself in it. But um, and it's got the it's got the bag that you can like the waterproof bag you can keep it in too, which is kind of cool. It actually came in that. Um, but this is the coat. Okay, so I'm gonna take the coat off here and show you guys. So here's the inside. Here's the pocket. Okay, and here's the box that it comes with. It comes with a fancy, fancy box here. Open it up, and it's got the charging cord, the plug for it here. And I think this is already pre charged. So we're gonna, and it's got the little plastic wrapper on it, but everything's branded real nice. Here's the charging ports in it. And then in here, there is a cord. And you plug this in. So we'll plug that in like that. Got the battery pack in here. It does. Oh. So I think that's an on button. I'm not using the thing. But anyways, we'll plug this back in. And this is waterproof too. So we put this in here and zip it up. Now we're going to put the coat back on. And I'll show you how this works. I got the coat on. And it's got this little button here. You see, it's lighting it up, and then it's got different like settings on it. Like I said, so there's like preheat, there's the different heat, but that's how you use it. I think you just press this down to turn it off, and boom, it's off. But um, yeah, this will keep me warm when I'm outside in the winter. You know, I'm in Cleveland, it gets cold, and they wanted me to test this out. They know I do outdoor stuff. This will actually get me excited to do some more fishing outside in the winter, maybe some walleye. Um, so to have this and just to be able to be warm, I read about this. It says that on like the low heat, it will last up to eight hours, which is a long time to be outside fishing. Um, for, for walleye, usually I'm not out for eight hours. Usually it's about three hours, but to have something that's going to keep me warm the whole time, that helps out big time. So just wanted to show you guys that, but, um, I'm going to get going here. This was today's video. I know it was kind of short. Just want to show you what I had going on. I got a lot of other stuff that I have to do tonight pertaining to property, the house, and taking care of some other stuff. So I'm going to get going, and I'm going to get back to work. But we'll uh, we'll see you here on the next one. Slime on. Love you all. See you on the next one.